ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on with the action, and this is an incredible matchup on paper. The lightweight championship of the world for UAL is going to be contested, and we've got two incredible arm wrestlers to do this thing. The Flash, Corey Miller, about to defend his title against the incredible rising star that is Jamie, the natural Sheldon. Let's get over to Bruce Buffer, and he's going to introduce our athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, this next batch is five rounds for the UAL Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, he has a top roll hook arm fighting style, 16 inch forearms, 16 inch biceps, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. From Riverside, California, the four-time state champion, the UAL3 lightweight tournament champion, and the number two lightweight contender, Jamie the Natural Sheldon! Jamie the Natural Sheldon is on a tear. This young man is supremely confident, and I can tell you, he has come ripped and ready. His body conditioning is phenomenal. He's fresh off an incredible victory at UAL 5, and he wants this, he believes this, and this could be a night for the upset. And his opponent, he has a flash top roll hook arm fighting style, 14 inch forearms, 16 inch biceps, standing five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. From Cheyenne, Wyoming, the 15 time national champion and the 2010 triple crown winner, the number one lightweight contender in the world, Corey the Flash. Miller! Ladies and gentlemen, a dominant North American champion comes in the form of the Flash. Now you see it, now you beat. The Flash is speed, and he is revved up. Your man in the strikes for this one will be Bill Collins, master referee of the UAL. Jamie, the natural Sheldon. Here we go, round one. Both men looking relaxed, but calm before the storm. This could be thunder and lightning. Go! On the way we go! It! The flash was fire! Miller was just had a swagger about him. He's a very confident young man, and he's got a right to be. Um, Corey has shown time and time again here in the United States. He is definitely at the top of the uh, leaderboard. You know, there's a couple other guys out there that can contend with him. Um, but yeah, that guy, when he shows up, he shows up good. But uh, Corey does look very confident, very calm, very relaxed. Uh, go! On the way we go, oh, much better. Sheldon now gets a little bit of purchase. Lose his hand control. Oh! He wasn't aware, but he's just been informed by Sheldon. That was very impressive by Jamie yeah. Sheldon. Jimmy Sheldon got some purchase there. Still didn't hit his sweet spot. No, I think he actually shocked himself a little bit, and that's why he wasn't holding on as well. Um, Jamie Sheldon just proved if he can spin for his hand, he can actually be in this match. One foul apiece now. I ain't moving. Look to regain hand control, and as he draw for the pad, there's too enthusiastic and straight off the back of the pad. Go! On the way we go, so we will go to the strap match, and Sheldon has teeth. As the strap being applied there, we got a, a good shot on a window on the soul, Jamie, the natural Sheldon, and he looks really calm and unruffled. Five rounds of arm wrestling here for the world title. Jamie Sheldon maybe trying to feel his way through the rounds. It's fair to say he started in a fashion he wouldn't have wanted to, but since that point he's shown signs of being able to do something. But to break something, he comes back across. Yeah! Oh, Miller! It's Corey Miller, and he bats good on it that time. Let's look at that on the replay. Sheldon with a little pop on the elbow. He rotates around and tries to connect, but it was of no consequence, Mike, because the arm was on the power. We are about 
to find out because we have a referee's grip. Bill Collins pauses down the thumbs. He will now wrap the hands. Containing the wrists. Down go the hands. Go! And away we go! Shannon with the pain. The range is out of control. And it's called the Flash Miller, Mike. Wow. He did what he had to do. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. That's three out of five. Uh, the rest of this is just going to be pride for Jamie. I mean, Corey just became the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Thing was, now, okay, the, the thing about that right there in that replay, had, had he just really, he, he, he was beat right there in his own mind. He, I would have pushed as hard as I possibly could to that pin pad, letting that slip happen. But uh, he, he just, you can see a defeated look in him. He just joined us, ladies and gentlemen. Go! Welcome to UAL 6, Jamie Shell, and he's trailing by three. But he's leaving it all on the table. Oh, absolutely. Talk. Still has opportunities to do something here but he needs to make them count now for pride he must make this count i mean he's in the strap with him you know he wasn't really, really fortunate the second round when that happened but right now he has to pull with everything he's got he's got to drive in he's got to hit back he's got to do everything do not let up Come make that man take that backward step is what no, you're saying make there. that man pull me down Go! Big drive, but Miller has a dominant position. Sheldon uh, puts the brakes on, he yeah. comes back up. Corey Miller sweeps to the side. I mean, that was a very impressive performance, but I keep looking at Jamie Sheldon thinking, if you just tweak that just a little bit, you're in that match. You've got to say that there was a resigned look on the face of Sheldon. Looks as though he felt like he was uh, trailing throughout that match. The doubt has been put to rest. He looks at Sheldon now, allows Sheldon to roll, take it into that hook, and then squeezes down for the win. It is the win for Miller. We're going to go to Bruce Buffett for the Ladies official and we have a winner and new UAL Lightweight Champion of the World, Corey the Flash Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Corey Miller. Corey, you're known as a dominant champion here in the United States of America, and I think Jamie will have been aware of the fact that on paper you were a favorite coming in. You seem to have a bit of a swagger around you yesterday at the weigh-ins. What do you believe it is about your style and your ability in the sport of arm wrestling that's separating you from the chasing pack? Well, I think my learning ability is what makes me far from everyone else. I'm smarter, faster, stronger, better in any way possible that 165 pounder can ever be in my class.